How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to reset your iPad Air 2 back to factory settings. To do this, we want to go to our settings. And before you uh, reset your iPad back to factory settings, you do want to back up all your information to iCloud, which is just by going to the iCloud tab, you will sign in and you want to make sure that you find the option that says backup and do a backup before you erase it because if not, if there's anything that's not backed up, you will lose it forever. So just keep that in mind. And that's obviously minus uh, music purchases and app purchases. All that stuff is saved. But if you have like notes or any pictures you put on there or things like that, those will be lost. Also, remember emails are backed up in the cloud automatically so you don't have to worry about those. All right, to do our reset, we're going to go to general. And we want to come all the way down to the bottom where it says reset. And we want to go to the second option that says erase all content and settings. And it's going to say this will delete all media and data and reset all settings. We want to hit erase and erase again. Now for some of you guys, when you hit that second erase, it will ask you to put in your Apple ID. So make sure you have that handy. You will have to enter that in to uh, finish the final uh, process before you get to this stage. Once you get here, the iPad is actively resetting. So what it's doing is it's erasing all of your content, all your information off of the iPad, and it is basically setting it up like brand new, like when you first purchased it. The best times you want to do this are when you are going to sell it, when you're going to return it to the store, maybe decide you want it to get a bigger storage size or a different color, or if you decide you want to give it away, you don't want to give it away with all your information still on it. Imagine having your emails uh, still logged in and someone can see your past accounts. They could send emails from your accounts. You don't want any of that stuff to happen. So uh, just want to go ahead and factory reset it. And it literally takes between 30 seconds to about five minutes, depending on how much information you have on the iPad. And uh, the way you know you're, it's complete is you'll be on the screen that will show the Apple and then it will ask you to choose a language and that's how you know you have successfully reset your iPad back to factory settings. Uh, we're not gonna, oh, look how fast that just popped up like that and the process is complete. Guys, I hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you did find it helpful. Subscribe to H2Tech videos and hello, have a good one.